Morning girls, how you doing? I am back and I have quite a wee bit to catch up with. It looks like there's like four videos from Amberlynn, which honestly, at the rate she was been out videos, I wasn't expecting to come back to four of these. Um, I know there's been a lot of drama around them. I've seen bits and pieces about the second one comes in, which is like Q&A series, where she apparently goes after some people. So this one's probably like the, the, the silly little one to get out of the way first. This is gaining weight, living alone. This is a recipe for disaster and estrogen cancer talk. Probably going to go straight into that. Of course, the second I start speaking, some phones me. One second. Okay, and that is me back. And I guess we're just going to go straight into it and get into this. And then, I don't know, try and catch up to the fun ones. Let's go. Hello, hello. Hello. Vlog. Please do not mind my hair right now. I'm about to take her down. I just... Why are you suddenly so light? I never, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you as well. Never mind your hair. I never consider your hair. I never think about your hair. And I'm very happy that it has never affected me outside of, <laughs> of my normal life. I just wanted to prevent it from getting as frizzy as possible because I washed my hair uh -huh. this morning and it dries natural without straightening okay. it or curling it, whatever it <laughs> okay. may be. It just looks frizzy and not Fantastic. I, I, I don't know. I can't comment on that. That's a fun fantastic appearance for her. Do you know what? I remember always saying maybe she should cut her hair short because I quite like short hair. I, I take it all back. <laughs> I take it all back. It would not be a good look anymore. Remember the way she used to do this like big dramatic thing but how she never has the curtain pulled over because she's scared of the boogeyman and she even like recreated a scene of her walking into her bathroom once and being like terrified because she was thought someone was hiding behind her curtain. Glad to see that she's already forgotten that uh, little quirky personality trait there. Cute. I'm currently in a hair journey for sure and wow. I really don't want to wear this clothes hair, it's 39 degrees outside i don't want to wear clothes it just rips them off <laughs> um fantastic i don't know what 39 degrees is i'm assuming it's quite cold but it's weird that she says i don't want to wear it's 39 degrees outside it's like do you not have like central heating do you not have like heat in the house <laughs> you know i mean you're not standing outside unless we've been all lied to and this is just like the background set of a stage and raining but oh my god yeah, I'm about to go of course you would need to wear a sweater in, inside because it's cold outside and also raining. What? So, hang out with my mom. Oh, I like you. I'd say it's been about a week since I added Oh, wow, look at her. With her totally wet hair. Like, you know, like I, like I I've told everyone before, I don't have long hair at all. I have very short hair. But I would assume that if you, like, take your hair out, you don't let it dry naturally because you don't let it dry naturally down because, you know, it goes all frizzy as she's explaining. Instead, I thought if you kind of like put it up in like a bun, like a really tight small bun, and brought it out, it would still appear to be wet in some way, and it'd probably be even f more fucked up looking. I, I could be wrong, but for her having just announced this once again, guys, that she has washed her hair because you know she's definitely showers guy. That seems pretty fine. My hair. So that's progress. See how it's just like frizzy and not cute. And so shit. I ordered some like frizz stuff that I can uh -huh. like add in my hair. So that should be in the mail. Actually, I actually think yeah. it was delivered today. So I might try wow, that. Wow, that's so interesting. Works. Like, I don't even want to brush my hair while it's like that. Why, why not? I thought brushing it might help in some way. If you have the frizz stuff, like, why don't you just go and use the frizz stuff right away? If this is, like, such a major thing that we have to hear about it in every single one of the videos. It's so sad that I went away. And before I went away on holiday, she was talking about her frizz. I come back from holiday, she is still talking about her fucking frizz. The only time I've been brushing, see it's still wet a little bit here. Is the it? only time I've been brushing my hair is right before I shower. And then while I'm in the shower and I have conditioner uh -huh. in my hair, I don't know if that's a good idea. That's something new that I've started. Sure. So this is just my natural hair. Yeah. Put you guys down here. Doesn't your hair look like that though? Because you just took it out of like a tight bun. Isn't that like more the reason why it looks like that than anything? Is she like, I don't know. You know, I, I, like she has no personality. So she needs to try and like go out and like cause drama for personality or pretend she's scared of the boogeyman behind her curtain for personality. Like, is she deliberately just fucking around with her own hair just to have something to talk about? Like, is that the case? Because like, one in the audience will know more than I will. A little further, so you can see what I mean. Hey, Tits. See how it's like fried? That's oh not. Oh my god. That's not my hair. You've shown um, us it forty times. We know. Started. So it's very sad. Put away We're the tits, lady. No one wants to see them. We're gonna figure it out. Are we? But it just I don't know. My hair don't include me in this. My favorite thing about myself physically. So just seeing it. Oh my god! I can't believe we actually had. Th she said that exact same line. I re I specifically remember that exact same line. From the last video I reacted to, which is like, I don't know, like two weeks ago now or something like that, was where she outright pointed out that her favorite thing about her was her hair. And it's like, yes, because your hair can't get fat. We get it. Uh, uh, look its best. It makes me really sad. But 
I'm sorry, just Umbrella and Sonic here. Looking like, I don't know, like a fucking like, I don't know. You know one of those play toys you give to children where it's like, like it's wooden stick and then it's like hoops of varying sizes and it teaches kids to like stack things in a progressive order. Do you know those toys? She's standing there looking like one of those toys and she is talking about how her hair is not cute and how her hair has pretty much ruined her general image by being slightly frizzy. It's like, bro, like I'm sorry, you could go with a mohawk right now and it wouldn't fuck up your image at all. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna fix it. And thank okay. you to everyone who's like DMing me with advice. I I, Dude, I I have to say DMing because everyone knows no one comments anything positive to me. So I have to pretend all the positive messages are in the DMs, guys. All, so I appreciate it a lot. Embarrassing. I'm so focused on talking about my hair, I forgot to show you guys. I use the diamonds that um I recently got. Oh, in my those last things. Vlog. There's so many different ways you can they do look this. Like, like I was shit. Thinking, should I add some here? They look like shit. You fajazzled your eyes. <laughs> They look terrible. Are they better or worse than what was it? The pixie hair or what was it? When she had like those little like strings of like golden like fibers or whatever it was in her hair. And I, I honestly assumed that like a four year old had attached them for, but it turned out like I was like an aesthetic choice that she had made herself. It's like, bro, like I'm not saying you can be too old for something because you know what? Who cares? Be childish as you want. I don't really care. But bro, you're like 30 three or 34 or something like that you, you come on you're you're dressing like a 16 year old but like obviously i didn't want to do both that's just like way too much also they're not even which is somewhat bothersome <laughs> but i want to try this for the first time i think it looks cute they okay, don't Japan, look terrible i decided to wear this sweater it looks a little bit better i feel what? like i wear this dress so much but it's just... even thicker than the last one <laughs> it's even thicker than the last one and it also still just looks like shit it is just your standard color of like Kinda ready and black. It, it's one of the Bird! Yeah, it's freezing outside, so I have to wear a sweater, which is unfortunate. So is I'm it? currently looking at my full length mirror. I think we look good. Do you? You no, never look good. A well balanced diet is a steak in each hand. <laughs> Do you get it? She's fat! Chuck House. Never even heard of that before. I'm assuming that's a really local one. Let's see. Well, what do you got here in the background? A Ken Boyer. Don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, these are prices for gas, aren't they? Like, Americans, I think. American is gas by the gallon, I think, which is like three liters. I think it is. I, I'm not on sure because we do it by the liter. So for me, it, I, I can't really do a conversion that well. But we all know my math skills. It says a well-balanced diet, a steak in each hand. Not as funny. Wait, I read it. Bingo. It's not even funny. I read it. And I did not win. Um, My mom oh, did. No. So her boyfriend, so it's good. Hey. You guys seem to win like bingo like pretty much fucking every single time you go, which is so weird because I thought you guys would be like super rich at this point. Y'all, yeah. I was just... A see, th see, that would be like... Like a funny like it like edit or quirky you know her suddenly leaning in if it wasn't edited so poorly because amber for some reason can't like i don't know if it's to cover up deep breathing or if it's to cover up the sound of her fucking jostling or something like that but for some reason if you're ever editing amber you will especially notice this is that every single cut starts with her saying a word every single there is no dead air at the start of a cut which is like, so, like, if she had, like, cut and it was just this, and then she suddenly popped in from this side, like, whoop, suddenly popped in. Like, you, you, you're hanging here a little bit, and she comes out like a jump scare. That would have been something, at the very least. But it basically what starts with her already leaning out and saying hi. And it's like, okay. I'm still wondering, can we do a taste test? If you said no, I do apologize. Uh -huh. We're about to have one. So if I'm what pronouncing anything wrong, well, I do apologize. But this huh. is Mazapan Original. The brand is Della Rosa. I, uh, is, I'm assuming it's just a block. It looks like a block of cheese. And I'm just going to assume it's a block of cheese because that. And it's literally just made with like peanuts and sugar. Are I've you always sure it's not just these. cheese? I never have that I can remember. So I figured, you know what? Fantastic. Let's do it for the vlog. I personally love a good taste test. So. Why is like, so is, is it do it for a vlog? I remember that from before I went as well. Is do it for a vlog? Is that like the new do it for a vine? Is, is that like a new thing that I haven't heard of before? But she's like really obsessed with it recently. Oh, so, why not? Here's some ASMR. Well, we're skipping this, definitely. Okay, so it's super... She sits there, like, while she's doing the quote-unquote ASMR, just smirking, looking really smug, because she knows no one likes that. Like, no one. No one in the entire world. I speak for the world. Call me president of the world, because I speak for it. Because no one cares about her ASMR shite, which is her crinkling something annoyingly. Because it's not like an ASMR microphone, which is meant to pick up the subtle vibrations and everything I got, which some people seem to like. But for fuck's sake, just crinkling something loudly into the microphone, it's just, uh, uh, stop it. 
super crumbly. That's is the it? first thing I'm noticing. Is, is it still like cheese? I'm assuming breaking. it's cheese. I don't care what she tells me it is. It's cheese. It smells like something I've smelled before. Cheese? <laughs> it smells like cheddar. <laughs> I don't care what she tried to describe that as smelling like, or tasting like, or being like, I just assume it is just cheese. I just can't put my finger on it. Uh -huh. wow. Yeah, That's sweet fascinating. peanuts. It, it, that does make sense. All right, wow. so I'm going to take a little piece. Whoa, that texture. Uh-huh. It literally just... You know, she's trying to be, like, extra funny, because I remember the last time she did a taste test. I think it was, like, the... the was it pickled egg or something like that? But where I was like, I, I, that was actually kind of a funny response. So, like, she finally actually gave a funny response to eating something. And here she is. I think she's trying to, like, mimic that. Because she's trying to be a bit over the top with it. And it's like, apparently it's just like, I don't know, peanut. It's like crushed peanut paste. It melts in your mouth. Well, cheddar. Whoa. It is so sweet. I have a massive sweet tooth and yeah. even this might be too sweet. Bro. Well, how, guys, how should I address this? Should I just make a point? Yes, I can see you. I'm aware that you have a massive sweet tooth. Or should I go for the counterpoint where she's the one who always tells us that she doesn't have a massive sweet tooth that everything she ever tries is always too sweet for her. Come on. Now suddenly she's accepting that she has a sweet tooth. Fantastic. You're 600 pounds. Ooh, there's like little peanut chunks. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's pretty tasty. Yeah, you're fat. You're, of course you're going to like it. It tastes like candy. The texture is something else. Whew. I can't even finish a whole one. A That's rich. Oh my. <laughs> 600 pound woman. I couldn't even finish a whole one. Bro, it's like an inch and a half across. Calm down. So if you like nuts, you like something super sweet. And well, you, you shouldn't then. <laughs> I'll try that. Okay, guys. Short story time because I want to show you something that my mom got me. Is that the Batmobile just chilling up there? I, I did make a point about like she has a Batman up there before. Didn't I? Where did that Bat Cave thing go? Is that part of the Batman thing? Or is this like... like Because like that Batman is fairly new. So is it part of that Bat Cave thing that she was building? And she, for some reason, she just threw out the rest of the cave. And she just decided to keep the Batmobile on the Batman. Or is, like, the new girl that she's stalking, is she, like, really into bat people? ...today, which was actually super sweet. So, my grandma loved... And yes, I'm going to make... I'll have to make a call back. I, I said bat people, and then it's slowly processed in my head that it's, like, I remember making that, that Wuhan joke at one point during my retro react where it's, like, it wasn't a bat, it was a fat. <laughs> I'm going to have to go... Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe her girlfriend specifically told her, I'm really into fat people, and she thought she meant bat people, and that's why she keeps buying Batman stuff to try to press her, not realizing that her new girlfriend's a feeder. <laughs> Like cute things, like small cute things, whether it's like oh wow, no wonder she kicked you out then. <laughs> oh god, you gotta go for the easy ones. My grandma's into really small cute things. <laughs> oh um, wow, she has this, like coin purse oh, my that god. has like an adorable cute face on it. Oh my god, she really enjoys. So, oh my god, she had long oh my god, I literally don't actually give two fucks about literally anything you're saying here. Did I tell you that my granny like cute things? It's like wow. She sounds like such a unique person. How, how could I not want her to be a star on a hit internet TV show? Surgery, and me and my mom were going to visit wow, her just to see like, if she was doing good. Did you get her something small and cute? Because obviously I would need you to juxta the, 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 preface this entire thing by explaining that your grandma likes cute things before you told me that you bought her something cute to help her get over with the surgery. Unlike, you know, a, a lot of people, especially a lot of ladies who like small cute things so that wasn't even interesting but she is and thank you guys so much for the well wishes sure. it is honestly greatly Where? appreciated so my mom surprised my grandma with this cute little elephant and wow. the elephant had also was it you <laughs> did, did she roll you in one tango he agrees cute little elephant I feel like this must be deliberate. Like, come on. This feels like it's too easy to say. It feels like she's just walking into it over and over again. Like a little baby that went with it. And for some reason, uh, I just thought it was one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Sure. So today when my mom this called me, so interesting. she was like, I got you something. <laughs> she got me the little freaking elephant. Uh -huh. Look how adorable. I don't know why. It's not just like, like Dumbo, like a Disney elephant or something like that. Like, it doesn't even... It, it doesn't even look unique. It just looks like like a standard like Disney elephant. So you're okay. Be, on this imaginary storyline that no one believes was real. So your granny was getting over lung surgery. So your mom got her a, a baby elephant to make her feel better, and you still thought it was cute. So your mom went and got you it. As why are you getting over lung surgery? Where the fuck are you getting this as well? 
Sounds silly. Like, we know, Amber probably pays for the majority of stuff around. Amber probably just bought this and is trying to say, look how nice my mom is. See, by the way, guys, I don't buy my mom everything. Sometimes she buys me stuff. Like, that's what I feel about this. But I just find this to be so cute. Wow, um, it's not. This is like the brand that, um, yeah. what are they called? Beanie Babies. Yes, everyone Do you guys knows. Know yeah. Everyone knows. But wait, yeah. it's not even Thanks. the end. Look how adorable. There's a yeah. little baby that goes with it. Okay. I'm sorry, but this is. So, what do we think it's more likely? Are we thinking more likely that she bought herself this? And she also probably bought, maybe, hell, maybe these are the ones given to the granny that she bought. She bought them, gave them to her mom, and then her mom gave them to the granny. She just filmed this ahead of time. So, could be that, you know, could be that, and it could just be her, her setting it up because she likes to set up these storylines. Or do you think she saw her mom buying her granny these, like, actually, genuinely buying her granny these? And because she is that kind of, like, weirdo, obsessive person, she was like, well, she got that. Why didn't I get that as well? And she went out and bought herself that as well just to try and make herself feel better. It's, like, the cutest thing I've ever seen. And the fact that my mom surprised me with matching ones sure. that she got my grandma based on the fact that I just thought they were so cute. Literally, uh, just, like, it made me want to cry. The fact that she had to then re-explain it all, like, in, like, like layman's terms at the end. But, yeah, it kind of makes me feel so things fake. I, I had, like, a tear in my eye. I was like, Mom, sure. thank you so much. But isn't that the sweetest little thing? No. These are adorable. They I look really like shit. Okay, guys. So some people have been asking, like, why I was oh, I so excited wait. that, like, I was on H3's podcast for, like, 2.2 seconds. For because you like attention. There you go. No one was asking you that. People were laughing at you for it because it was, like, so cringe and so pathetic that you had a clickbait, like, that you're on the H3 podcast. And you probably did enjoy it because you like attention. You like any form of attention. You like to imagine that H3 is like your best friend and secretly watches you and loves you or something like that. Or literally, it was just a thumbnail of my TikTok. I honestly think that Alex show can explain it better than me, so. Sometimes you just need to disconnect and enjoy your own company. Are you going to transform this in any way whatsoever? Like, in any way? Damn. Yeah. Nah, -uh, a watch next. She's going through something. Yeah. Something they watch it. In it. In it. I don't think that means that she's no. necessarily. And... <laughs> yep. You have got to be kidding me. Does that mean like Ethan watches Amber Lynn and she's in his algorithm? But that's hilarious. She was like the watch next video in the H3 podcast. Okay. I think that might. I feel like I'm, I'm, I need to transform Alice's Shook's like work because like, she didn't like transform it. Like she, you know, why she cries all the time about like, you know, reaction channels, like stealing her content, like just stealing her content. She is just stealing Alex's Shook, Shook's content. Because this isn't transformative. She is just going like, I don't know, I'm just going to play someone else's video here for 30 seconds. I and mean, then that's it. She, she adds nothing to it. Says nothing or anything like that. It's like, this person said it better than I would. So here you go. And then just played someone else's content. Which I guess is still just her admitting that she still watches reaction channels, I guess. I suppose, Ethan, I think he's an Amberlynn Reed viewer. Because otherwise, why would they recommend that? Hmm? It's and on TikTok. I can't even begin to imagine. Like, does H3 oh my, are we Are we still going? Low? Like, I'm just like... Are we still... I'm just going to skip till we aren't. So that's why it excites me. It was a full minute. It was a full minute straight of Alex's shook. Like, like nearly 10% of this entire video is Alex's shook. Like, so I'm, I'm assuming Amber's going to hit up Alex on over 10% of it. Because Alex is actually her boss, which is crazy. <laughs> Because, you know, remember how she used to be like, reaction channels can't think about me with when they buy things. I'm basically their boss. All that kind of shit. Well, no, Alex is shit because your boss because you did just put up his content without any form of editing there. So congratulations. I've always loved H3 Podcast. Watched them for years. Yeah, we just, know. I don't know. It's, it's just not makes me happy. I don't yeah. know. It's like... It's not an interesting personality trait. Also, it, like, because you popped up on the, the Watch Next does not mean, like, he watches you. It might mean he wa watched someone vaguely to do with you or to do with the tags that you were on especially because she's part of the drama community that he follows especially like the tiktok influencer drama community stuff that he seemed to be commenting on right there it wouldn't be surprising that amberlin's in the algorithm it just wouldn't because it's a similar kind of general field especially on somewhere like tiktok that is just trying to feed you content so no it doesn't imply that he actually watches her in any way a fangirling type of thing and i don't fangirl i'm not really like I a fangirl type of girly pop that's Girl, genuinely okay. why it made me happy because so many people were like i don't get it so yeah because you found girls like I, I i liked it because i found girls because i assume maybe he might know who i am and that might know that i exist however i'm also not a fan girl and i never fan girl and i don't fan girl even though i fan girl thought gabby hannah book that she had the trisha paytas she fan girls for h3 h3 because she brings it up like 
repeatedly. I'm amazed she didn't put it in the fucking comment in the in the title of this video again, just so she could say H3 again. And I just realized I had Thank lipstick you, on my forehead this whole clip. Wow. Don't know how that happened. Also, <laughs> another question that I because you're fat and a messy eater. Because <laughs> at some point you bit into a burger and then it fell into the trough and you stuck your entire fucking head in after it. I have no idea, bro. I'm getting that I want to like talk about is like people are saying that like my hair falling out is due to lack of estrogen and I should be on it. It's not optional. Uh -huh. Well, that's not true. For my case, they actually did not want me on estrogen. Oh, for for your case specifically, for your case because you're match. I don't know anything about this whatsoever but anytime amber always says well actually for my case specifically i always go ah you're lying because she just is she's a medical marvel in her head she's always like the opposite of what normal people say especially because amber herself has specifically said that the reason why she grows her hair out right long is because people after having a total hysterectomy they generally can't grow their hair or they lose their feminine hair but she did and then that's why she's so obsessed with her hair and why she keeps it long that is something amber specifically has said but they had me on it. It's this whole thing. If you want to go figure all that out, I have vlogs about it. Um, have you? Have you lied about it before? Estrogen when they shouldn't have because with Why? the type of cancer that I had and uh -huh. how far along my uterine cancer was, me taking uh -huh. estrogen actually wouldn't... I thought she had pre-cancer cells. I thought that was the point of it. It wasn't like... Not, now it's like super far along um, cancerous. I thought it was pre-cancer cells at one point. So we're, we're both like, like like stage four and stage one at like the same time. Increase other cancers. So I'm actually not supposed to be taking estrogen, but yeah. I'm not losing hair up here. I think I didn't explain myself very well. I'm not losing my hair like wow. up here. Like, uh, please tell me you're not bookending this video with a fucking another hair talk. Which is what would happen with um, what you guys think, my lack of estrogen, which that's not the problem. I'm losing okay. my hair down here from all of the frying. Like it just seems like from here down. Really? My then how come your hair up here looks like dog shit too? Like, wouldn't that wouldn't that make more sense if it was just your hair from like here downwards looking fat? But like the hair up here looks like dog shit too. So like, I don't, I, I like I said, don't have long hair. I'm probably the worst person to ask about it. But like, with the way she's explaining to it, uh, it to me doesn't make sense. My hair just is not happy with Be like this. All looks the like heat that look, I've been look, using. that looks it literally shit. just started happening. And it's literally around the exact same time where I was like constantly using heat in my hair. Hey guys, so I do want to end this. Well, no, your hair looks like shit for ages, like for ages, like literally years. I, I think years. Um, so I, I don't think it is just around the time she's finally started using heat. I mean, I have no idea when she started using heat. She's trying to pretend that she only started using heat like since like the Feline breakup, that she's only started like curling her hair and straightening her hair since then. But I am, I'm pretty sure she was doing it before that as well. She was just like. I don't know, lying, like, like the, that time she claimed, this is the first time I've ever used a debit card in my entire life. You know, that kind of weird random lie that just seems silly. This vlog, but before I end it, I want to say I weighed myself today and I reached another low weight this year. I was 498.6 oh and it just makes me so happy sure. because honestly, when I knew that I was going to be living on my own for the first time ever, really, like true, like just my name on the lease, me taking care of everything by myself, well, you're not taking care of anything by, like, literally anything by yourself. You rely on your mom to be your delivery driver. You rely on your mom to be your Uber Eats driver. You rely on your mom to take you to appointments. You rely on your mom to do everything for you. Like, I I, I don't know. You're even, like, showing, like, recipes being sent to you by your apparent best friends and apparent girlfriends and stuff like that. Like, you don't really seem to be doing anything by yourself. Like, anything by yourself. The one thing you apparently tried to get organized by yourself was getting your... Uh, the, the the washing machine fixed and like firstly still your mom had to take you to the laundromat over and over and over again but that took like fucking six months to get fixed whether that be bills or chores or this or that like i literally have the freedom to do whatever i want uh -huh. and that honestly i had a, a really big fear i envisioned you myself didn't. actually you didn't she actually said the opposite she actually said that once she was like living by herself she would have total control over herself and she would be able to lose the weight better okay, gaining a lot of weight moving here um and that's me being 100% honest. Wow. Because back when I- How about you clean your top? I don't know. Since you're like such a strong independent woman, how about you clean your fucking top? <laughs> I would binge eat. Look at that. Um, Look at that in the bottom. The worst. Right below Minus, the fucking tit window. Right below the tit window. It's fucking disgusting. Like a year in high school where it was so bad. Uh, that's when I reached 420 pounds at the age of 16. I don't you're binge right. anymore. That's something that I haven't done in a very, very long time. But like my binge- but what's for, Was she 420 pounds at the age of 16? Because like I thought when she started her YouTuber, like she was like- at her highest weight ever. I thought it was like the high three high. I thought it was like 390 or something like that. Or like me massively overeating. Like that would happen like in private. I never wanted to do that around people. So me sure. being in my home, 
by myself constantly, especially after like... That doesn't make any sense because you've been... Like, if you got to your highest weight whilst living with Eric, Ricky, and Becky and everything like that, and you kept getting weight whilst living with Crystal, and you kept getting weight whilst living with Destiny, and you kept getting weight whilst living with uh, Feline, then... Like, then it doesn't matter. It was like, oh, I was scared about living alone because that's when I would binge because I always binge by myself. It's like, well, no, clearly not. When you're having Becky drive you at 3 a.m. to McDonald's and you were like shouting at her for not taking you. Like, obviously your binges are like just whenever the fuck you want. It doesn't matter if someone's there. Going through a heartbreak. Like, I was truly hurting. Like, oh my God, heartbreak I was error. turning to alcohol for a minute. Thankfully, <laughs> I'm totally not. I was turning to alcohol for a minute. And I, yes, I do lean literally a minute because i was addicted to it and then the next day i wasn't anymore because i just kind of kept making up storylines not doing that anymore um I I'm, I'm gonna allow myself to be an adult and to drink because i do have it under control and so far this year i have only drank when my friends were visiting me that sounds that's a that sounds like control i'm gonna allow myself to drink do you know what most people can just like choose not to drink like at all like like at all but yeah long story short i was Spot. Also, wasn't the friends visit like only a couple of weeks ago? <laughs> and like, wasn't she like drinking at other points? Because she's like showed us like those like standing outside, apparently drunk at one a.m., waiting for tacos videos and stuff like that. Harrowing in my own little way, my own little fashion. Obviously, I didn't show you guys that. Yes, Never. I had a few breakdowns on camera. You guys saw me cry. I talked a little bit about yes, how it was. It was very manipulative. There we was got just a lot happening, but I didn't even share with you guys. Sure. Just pain and regret. And embarrassing i would cringe all the way up inside my own asshole if i had to come on and do this storyline once again of there's so much happening behind the scenes guys just so she can like pull it out at a little later date just to let us know and just deep 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 heartbreak and uh, there were times where i felt super lonely and defeated yep, and I knew that feeling all of those ways the only thing that would make me feel better was food so it yeah but the thing is you still do feel like that because you're currently making up girlfriends <laughs> You're currently on, like, your fifth imaginary girlfriend. I do not I was going to say, I imagine you still feel like that. It was just, like, a recipe for disaster. True disaster. Because wow. any sort of problem... That's the title! Wow, she said it! ...that I face in life, I turn to food. I've always done that. Wow, since fascinating, I was just a little bro. Girl. But that recipe for disaster, I threw it away. And since living on my own, I've actually lost weight. That is... Sure, bro. How come you look fatter then? <laughs> Change your question. How come you look fatter then? This is the thing. It's just when no one believes your way and it's coming out and doing a impassioned speech about how you're basically the greatest person ever and the greatest weight loss coach and champion ever. And it's just like, okay, fascinating, bro. Something hands down I never in a million years thought would happen. And wow. it's like I keep proving myself wrong. And it feels good. Anyways, I do. Wow, that was genuinely, like, terrible. So is this why she went into the drama afterwards? Because I don't know what the, the like, I guess I'm only stuck. Okay, yeah, this is one of her lowest performing videos in quite a long time. It is uh, only 50k um, after two weeks. So this must have come out just, like, immediately after I left. So it's only just hit 50k from the looks of it. Is that why she went into this, like, weird drama fiasco afterwards where she's constantly trying to, like, stir up drama and kick the, 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 the hornet's nest? Because this wasn't performing very well because she wanted to come out and talk about how she's basically a weight loss champion and no one was buying it and she had to go, like, okay, well... Guess who's going to pick fights for reaction channels again for attention? So yes, guys, that's that video out of the way. And it was uh, pretty bad, but I, I'm probably about 30-ish minutes or so. And I feel like the Q&A one is probably going to take a fair while. Um, I haven't watched it. I have heard bits and pieces of it. Now, it, it kind of is like a trilogy nowadays. It's basically Lord of the Rings here because it's a Q&A one, which is 30 minutes long, which is pretty long. It's probably going to take me a bit of time to react to. And then there is a follow-up one. And then there is like another follow-up one, which is like, the follow-up one's like, I lied to you, and another the one is like, lies exposed or something like that. So it's like a trilogy of like her going after like reaction channels, apparently. So I don't know. Maybe I could do that via live stream. Maybe I could do like the, the I don't know, the give me attention trilogy via live stream. It's basically the dollar trilogy, but it's the please give me dollar trilogy. <laughs> it's terrible. I didn't even work hard for that one. Uh, maybe I could do that. Who knows? I'll stick up something on the community tab post if I decide that. But I'm going to do her and then have to catch up with Miriam because Miriam has a billion and a half videos to catch up on. That's going to be it, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.